I've always wanted to make a movie for my kids, but I wasn't quite sure what path to take. I had had the idea to do something with imaginary friends like 10 years ago, but I wasn't sure what to do with it. And I remember spending so many hours watching my daughters go into this magical world that, you know, as parents were not invited into. And it wasn't just the joy and the happiness that was on their face. It was actually the authenticity, this fearlessness that they had in there. They could, they could be anything, say anything, dress up like anything, whether it was a tea party, a dance party, or just doing funny voices. And that was so amazing. And I thought there's something there, but it wasn't until the pandemic when I started to see that bright light start to dim. And I started to see them doing fewer and fewer imaginary games. And I remember they started to let the real world in, as we all do. And they started asking big questions like, are we going to be all right? And I thought, that's my end of the movie. Because that, that's the moment. That's the definition of growing up. That moment you say, is this where I have to give up being a kid in order to be an adult? And I said, no. And let me write a movie about it so that you know that that magical world you created with all those hopes, dreams, ambitions, love, is always there. Yes, we all have bad days, but you can always go back. When I was writing the um, script, I started to draw all these terrible, I'm a terrible artist, so I had terrible drawings, but I remember just thinking it would be great to get the brass tacks of what each character looked like. I knew um, what Blue looked like, and I wrote it for Steve. I knew what Blossom looked like in my head, and I wrote it for Phoebe. And I remember Lewis, I, I wrote for Lou Gossett Jr. as well. And, I, and this was long before I got any of them to say yes. So, um, But I had them in my head. It was the, all the other ifs that became um, more and more fun to work on because I was, again, inspired by my kids. When you ask kids about what they're um, imagining, it's never what we think, which is like flying or living underwater or something like that. That's way too basic for kids. It's always something really specific and a little bit weird. So I thought I'm going to push the boundaries of my own imagination and come up with things like a, you know, an ice cube and a half glass of water or something like that. Ryan uh, was such a, uh, I, I've been a fan of his forever. I'm lucky enough to be friendly with him. We had been talking about doing something together and I said, maybe I'll do something with imaginary friends. And he thought that was cool. It was when I had this idea to have an emotional undercurrent that he said, let's do it. Jumped on board because he has kids of his own. But I think he would say the same thing as me, which is, as much as this movie sounds like a lot of fun between him and I, we needed Kaylee and we needed someone to be better than we could ever dream of. And I don't know what it was, but there was something magical about her. When she walked into my office the first time, she hadn't even opened her mouth and I knew she had the part. 